Well, well, look what we have here. Actually, yeah, there's two things on this trailer that might be worth talking about, but right now I'm mostly just talking about these boards. I finally got the boards that I need to make the floor and the feed wagon, and that's what we're gonna do today. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Well, at long last, the feed wagon is done, or at least done enough to where I can use it. I don't remember when I started working on this, but I know it was hot and it's been a while. So I think I brought this trailer home maybe last spring and it's just sort of been a slow process ever since then. I'm not sure how I feel about the wood floor on the trailer with the big gaps like that. A lot of people suggested that I should do something like that to allow drainage. I'm not sure how big of an issue that's going to be for me, but at least this way I've used less boards and it'll be a little bit lighter. So there's a weight savings here and you know, that's not nothing. All in all, I spent very little money on this project. In fact, the only things that I bought new, especially for it, was the wood for the floor and the tires. Everything else was salvage metal or stuff that I already had in the shop. Obviously I did use some new metal in the front, but that was stuff that I'd bought like a year ago. So I don't know if I'm gonna count the cost of that metal towards this project. I already had these feed panels. These are repurposed. They used to be down in the little corral. A lot of this tubing uh, was panels or gates old ones that I wasn't using anymore. This uh, this pipe here is new actually, but again, I didn't buy it especially for this. 
uh, the sheet metal that I had and the whole trailer itself was actually given to me by a friend so all in all I'm not into this a whole heck of a lot so there's really nothing left to do now but put some bales in the back of this thing and start using it Well, being as this was my first time loading the bale wagon, there, there was a little bit of learning happening. Originally, I had thought that I would lay all the bales down like this one in the front, cut the net wrap off, and slide them to the front like I did. But after getting under that bale and cutting it, it's like, that's really not very safe. Not to mention the fact that now there's all this loose hay here. A lot of this is probably gonna blow out on the way to the winter pasture. If I just was to put three bales in here up on end like I did with the last two nothing's gonna blow out on the way there and then it's easy enough for me to just climb in there and take the net wrap off so for next time I know how to do it well just pulled in over here and I was thinking about it I'd be smart to take the net wrap off right now before I got a bunch of cows trying to get in here. All right, net wraps off. Let's go see if we can find those cows. Well, I got about half of them here, and it concerns me that I don't see the other half. So we're gonna walk around a minute and see if we can find them. See one on the levee over here. Probably the others aren't far behind. All right, I think I found the rest of them. They're all just kind of grazing along the levee. Some are on the other side of the levee and they just don't know what's waiting over here for them. So I imagine that if they see me walking around here, they might figure out that something's going on, but I guess they'll find it in time.
slowly but surely, they're starting to figure it out. They're kind of making me laugh here because it's taken them a minute to figure out what this thing is. And I'm sure once it gets empty and I go load it and bring it back again, we won't be going through this again. They'll, they'll probably follow it all the way out here. So I guess we'll call this project done. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. <laughs>